Fall has arrived to the forest. There's something so calming about the forest when it's raining. It's been raining for two days now, three, no, maybe three, maybe four days straight with very little sun, just a massive downpour, just a great fall of rain. And it's almost so I have to be careful not to step on any mushrooms wherever I tread. There's so many different kinds. <gasps> like, there's a mushroom right here. Another one here. So many, just like within a meter. Wait. And here we have some really big ones. Over here, I think we have a canterelle that grew really big. <sighs> you have the golden white ones. You have the almost bronze looking ones. And then you also have the red ones that are uh, that are poisonous. I don't know what they're called in English. I guess my fiance told me at some point, but uh, I don't remember. So the attempt of finding some shelter here underneath a tree to lay out my pelt and read, that was rather unsuccessful, unfortunately. However, that's just one of the reasons I came into this forest today. The other one is actually to harvest some birch leaves and perhaps also some birch branches because I am going to make some paints.
for the past few weeks I have been experimenting with natural pigments and especially now in the beginning I'm trying to plant dye certain things. I'm writing what I hope will become a book one day about Nordic plants and their cultural heritage. I have dove into folklore and Norse mythology and I have found that they're all based around nature. Which makes sense because in this beautiful country that's almost all there is and there ever was. This brutal yet so beautiful nature. So a lot of these lores are about creatures that have an ultimate goal of protecting the nature and making sure that we as humans don't destroy it. There's also been stories to scare children off from wandering from home and for unfaithful men to stop being unfaithful for their women. I found those three to be the motivation, main motivations and intentions behind uh, Nordic folklore. And within that, with all the nature, with all of the plants, I've found certain plants that have very specific and important roles to play in these stories. And so what I'm doing now is I'm basically harvesting all of these plants or at least as many as I can get my hands on and trying to make them into dye or paints. So now during the first phase of the research I am harvesting leaves and barks and different things from different trees that I have read about and that I have chosen and boiling them down in an old-fashioned way. I'm using old waves to harvest the pigment so that I can make something with them and one day hopefully create paints and paint with them too. And so I'm now dyeing cotton paper. It's 100% handmade and recycled. And so I felt so happy when I got my hands on this because plant dye usually works only on natural materials and fabrics. And so very happy about this. And then I have started harvesting some colors, started seeing how different things give different colors. And so I'm really happy about this. And I'm so excited about this research.